Jesus said, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. Hi, it's Christy. That's the Great Commission. I didn't want to leave that till the end when some of you tune out. I wanted it to be the first thing that I said today before I open Michelle's box. I love being part of a community that is acting out the Great Commission just as Jesus asked us to do. And I hope that you understand how important your role is in accomplishing the Great Commission. Around the world, we are sending shoeboxes that's bringing the gospel to children and families and communities. That is the most important thing we can do. And thank you. I just want to say thank you for being a part of this team that's doing um, the one most important thing that we need to be doing, and that's reaching the world for Christ. So this is a box from Michelle, and I've just opened it, and you'll get to experience what's in here at the same time as I do. This is a piece of cardboard to prevent anything from being damaged and here's her note she's always so good about including a nice note the joy of the lord is your strength nehemiah 8 10. thank you michelle for these wonderful gifts in here um she says i'm happy to send you these reusable menstrual pads for your 10 to 14 year old girl shoe boxes. Oh, how that's what this is full of. How exciting. Uh, the more I learn, the more I want to include these. Thank you for partnering with me. Thank you for being the inspiration to me and others. Thank you for packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes to share God's love and the gospel to children to the ends of the earth. That's what we were just talking about. May the Lord bless you and keep you, your friend, Michelle. How exciting. Now I know it's just not reusable menstrual pads, but I want to start with those. So look at these beautiful colors. Wow. So uh, you may not know that girls in other countries do not have easy access to feminine protection. And can you imagine, um, of course, that it stops them from being able to go to school oftentimes, or at least they, at the very mi bare minimum, if they don't have this kind of uh, uh, reusable menstrual pad available, um, they miss a week of school. And giving them these precious pads, oh, I just so soft and pretty um allows them to have an opportunity that they wouldn't otherwise have so we are including these you can see how much room they take out not too much i will put them in a wet bag so that she'll have a place to store them uh and we'll just send also maybe a a laundry bar soap and phil's nap naphtha is good for that and it's ve not very expensive and she will have uh, a changed life having this uh, menstrual pads, which we take for granted in, in our country in America. I don't know um, where you're listening from or watching this video from. Let me know how accessible menstrual pads are for you or feminine protection is for you. But boy, I just am absolutely thrilled and to the bottom of my heart, I'm just so grateful that Michelle made these. And I know that the tutorial and all the details are on our website, blessingsintheshoebox.com, if you want to make menstrual pads. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, if you're not a sewer, there is a link. I was just looking at it yesterday for these really nice menstrual pads on Amazon, and they're not very expensive. So if you go to the 10 to 14 year old girl um, page on our website, blessingsinashoebox.com, you can click on that and you, you can also include these menstrual pads. You don't have to be a sewer. So excellent. Um, I'm thrilled, thrilled 
strawberry, I say things three times sometimes because I'm just so excited. Oh, and of course, you can download the washing instructions and the use instructions. Let me show you how nice that is. She has that available to print out also on blessingsinashoebox.com so they'll understand how to wash and dry the pads and use them. It shows you how to snap them onto your underwear. So beautiful um, colors and directions. I want to pull these out too. This is, I, you can't, this is, you can't tell, but this is like a very soft flannel and 100% cotton on the outside. And then inside she has, a, there's a special material called Zorb that she uses. And um, she cuts that out and puts that in the middle. And that's a really high and absorbent, oh, these are so cute. Isn't that polka dot darling? High absorbing um, fabric then for them. So I'm just so happy to be able to include these in my 10 to 14 girl boxes and along with the instructions for them wonderful and this let me show you what this is oh this is a play mat go go dino it's called and it's um also can double as a blanket but i will have little dinosaurs and cars in my uh, shoe box that includes this cute, darling, minky blanket with the play mat on the other side. Those Go Go Dino uh, panels are available online. You can order, I, I don't think it's very hard to look them up, but there's, I think one, only one place that I found that you can buy them, but you might be able to find uh, more places that carry those. Oh, so inside she include, I'm planning on 15 older girl um, shoe boxes. So she included five per day, five menstrual pads. I mean, per set, I should say it like that, five per set. So that should last them through the week. They can come home, wash, um, hang to dry and um, just keep going. So they will never miss a day of school. That's our that's our goal. So here she put inside of the water bottle, she put more menstrual pads that are folded up so you can see how nice and compact they are. And it's not obvious if the girl is carrying that around, um, it's not obvious what they are. So she has given me, of course we feel very strongly that we want to include a water bottle or a cup in all of our boxes. It's just not a lot of children do not have one running water, uh, drinkable water in their home. So it makes it easier for them to if they have something to put the water in. Here's more menstrual pads. And more. I just want to show you some of the patterns. They're so pretty. Butterflies, polka dots, flowers. She makes it a point not to put uh, patterns together that are um, like food on the pattern or um, I can't remember what else. She, she sticks to um, flowers, polka dots, uh, ge geographical, what do you call that? Geometric shapes like these swirls. So that it won't be, um, you know, so gross to look at. Oh, there's blood on, um, you know, fabric that has uh, pictures of food on it. And also, we just don't ever send anything with food because some children are uh, food deprived. They're starving. In fact, I was just reading. I got the new. I got the new PowerPoints from Samaritan's Purse, and they are really uh, working hard to help uh, communities, especially children that are starving um, in Africa. I can't remember which nation they were highlighting. I was just starting to read it, but there are many places around the world where shoeboxes go where they are food deprived. So to include, we don't include um, 
pretend food or pictures of food in coloring books because that would be hard for a child to, who is starving to receive those as gifts. And here's another play mat, Go Go Dino. So that it brings us to the end of our box. I just again want to say thank you for being a part of the Great Commission along with me and Michelle. I pray God's blessing upon you, that you would find deals and that you'd be inspired and excited uh, to continue to make shoe boxes and make more than this year than you did last year, that you would find a partner and that you would just love from the bottom of your heart uh, packing shoe boxes because you know you're glorifying God and you're bringing the gospel to the world, the Great Commission. Thank you for watching. God bless you and bye for now.